What's up, everybody? This is Carl from Techful Goodies. And today I'm actually doing another WLED project, basically taking a lamp and sort of changing it into a more of an LED ambient light. So let's go ahead and get started. So I will be starting out with some leftover LEDs that I had from a previous project that I'll put up here on the screen. Um, I am using the ESP8266, a very easy chip and a very affordable chip to use that you can actually install WLED onto this chip. And it has Wi-Fi built in, so you can actually connect over Wi-Fi to be able to control your lamp or any other project you have. If you put LEDs in your room or you put them on your desk, this allows you to do that. I have another video that I said that I just put up in the corner that kind of shows you how to do that, how to get WLED installed. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start with this already ready to go. So my plan is to take this bad boy right here, which is just a standard lamp, standard uh, desk lamp that has a white shade on it, a base, has a normal plug um, and a normal light bulb socket on the inside, but I'm not gonna use that. I'm actually gonna go ahead and I will leave the cord on for now in case I decide to change my mind and modify it later. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put LEDs on the inside of this as opposed to putting a normal light bulb. So how am I gonna do that? Let's get started. So first thing I wanna do is be able to remove this top part right here. So it simply has the standard screw that pretty much every lamp has that keeps the lampshade connected to the base. And that's this thing right here. And that will allow me to basically pop off this lampshade. And then I have my standardized base, okay? So how am I gonna put LEDs in here? My plan is to go ahead and take a small piece of PVC like this that I've already measured out, and I'm going to attach it right here. Now, in general, a good idea would be to go ahead and use maybe a hot glue gun to connect this, but I'm not gonna do that right now. First thing I'm going to do is connect the LEDs to this PVC. <laughs> so the good thing about these LEDs right here is that they have, I'm gonna go ahead and unhook them here from the power source, is that they have this sort of sticky backing, right? Almost all LEDs have this. So what that allows me to do is basically unpeel this blue backing on here and stick it right right to the PVC piping. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start it right down here at the bottom. I'm gonna give myself just a little bit of room so that I can go ahead and um, pull the power cord down. But what I wanna be able to do is start to sort of roll this LED and I wanna keep it as close as possible because I want the highest pixel density for this lamp. So let me go ahead and do that. And now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and trim off right at the connection points. You can actually see right here that there are three little connectors, little bronze connectors, and those are your cut points. And what that allows me to do is take this leftover LED portion right here <laughs> and reuse it later. And in order to reuse that, you can either solder wires on there, but I'm, I'm using these uh, LED light strip three pin connectors. Uh, these work specifically because my LED light strips have three pins on them. So you can see if I hold this up here that these have three pins on the inside and basically the LEDs sort of slide underneath there. And then when you close that up, then it makes the proper connection. So right now here is what I have and I will go ahead and uh, reinforce that in a little bit. Okay, so here's what I have. So I have basically I have this full PVC pipe right here loaded with LEDs, okay? So when I install this on here, I'm able to control exactly what effects and what shows up um, in WLED on these LEDs when I turn them on. So in order to connect this to the base, I've decided that what I'm gonna do is I am for the time being, because I don't have a hot glue gun available to me, I'm going to tape it on, which isn't the best option because I don't think it'll have a lot of longevity, but it's what I have and it's what I'm gonna do. So we'll put this here 
we will go ahead and add a little bit of tape and tape this on to the bottom. Just kind of why I left that buffer at the bottom for the wires, um, because I knew that I would have this tape on the bottom here. So let's do another one. Give it a little bit more structure. May not be the prettiest thing you've ever seen, but it will work. It will work. All right, there we go. So now we have the LED post on the inside of the lamp. So I'm gonna go ahead and do is get this plugged back into the power source. And there we go. And as you can see, I can add a couple different effects to it. Um, let's just do like a color loop. There we go. So once I go ahead and add this back on, The good news is I don't need to use that screw on clamp anymore because the tape at the bottom allows this to basically stick in the lamp. Okay. So success. I mean, how easy was that? The ability for me to be able to take an old lamp, toss something on the inside with addressable LEDs. Let me go ahead and show you a couple of demos of what this can actually look like. I'll go ahead and turn down some of the lights here so you can see. All right, so here is the lamp itself, and that's with just sort of like a, let's say call it color loop um, on the inside there. Uh, WLED has tons of different um, little effects. Let's go ahead and see what we can figure out. So this is considered color twinkles. So you can see that there is kind of like, a, I mean, you've probably seen this before. It's kind of like a, I don't know, watery type of LED visual to it. There's color waves which I think is pretty cool. That's probably something I'll end up using as color waves because I really like how it changes. The good thing is that WLED allows you to kind of change the speed. So if I really wanted kind of like a, a slow transition and then color waves, I can go ahead and change. So I can go ahead and change the color palette on that and I'll go ahead and speed this back up a little bit. Turn the brightness up as high as possible. So um, WLED does allow you to change the color palette. So they're like, for example, if I want to do black and orange, I can do that. But what I want to pick on this is I, I personally like to pick, there's a one at the bottom called um, wipe random. Okay. So what that basically does is it'll go ahead and it'll wipe through the different colors randomly based on whatever color palette you have. And you can see that this is kind of, it, it may be a little bit more difficult to see on the screen. Let me turn the speed up to really fast here just so there you go so you can actually see that the different colors are kind of coming up the lamp and changing the different colors as it goes and with the color palette that i picked i picked sort of a wide color palette so it can basically go through and chose any color so i'm liking that a lot and like i said with just a simple small little controller like this the WLED controller and the lamp that I bought, which was probably only a couple bucks too. I was basically able to take this and make it into a nice little ambient LED lamp that I can stick in the corner. I can power it through my PC. I can power it through like a wall brick, a five volt wall brick. This is just a lot of things that I can do with that. I'll go ahead and clean this up a little bit in the future. So make sure that everything works correctly. Um, but let me show you a top down view on the inside of the lamp itself. Okay, so that's basically what's happening. So you can see the colors are kind of climbing up and with LEDs, it doesn't like to focus, but the colors are basically climbing up the side of the PVC pipe that we put on the inside there. So I'm gonna call that one a success. That was a lot of fun, uh, super easy. I mean, what, that was only a couple minutes for me to get set up and get done. Something easy you can do yourself, check out the ESP 8266 or the ESP32 controllers that you can toss WLED onto and then control any of your products. But hey, if you like this and you appreciate these kind of videos, uh, my name's Carl. I'm a tech guy at my tech desk, trying out all sorts of goodies, techful goodies, seeing if they work and sharing them with you. But until next time, this is Carl from Techful Goodies and I'm out.